from NBC News. This is Today. Here again are Lester Holt. This morning on today's Quick Fixes, storing your summer gear and furniture with fall around the corner. This is becoming an issue as you wind down your summer gardening and lawn activities. Here to talk more about it, Justin Hancock from Better Homes and Gardens. Justin, good great to have you here. Thank you. We're going to first talk about the lawnmower. we still got, obviously, some good cutting weeks, but at some point, it'll be time to put this away. I'm the kind of guy I tend to just put it in the corner of a garage and call it quits. There's more to it. Though. Right, right. If you want to keep your mower in tip-top shape, first of all, empty the gas tank. Really super easy to do. Just run the mower until it runs out of gas. Okay. It's important to do that because you don't want bad gas to um, gunk up the engine over the winter. So that would be a bad thing. All right. What, exactly. else, would you, what else would you do? Uh, then you want to empty, um, change the oil. Um, and a lot of people don't know, uh, lawnmowers have air filters. Um, usually at the end of the throttle here in a plastic case. Just pop it off. Check it out. If it's brown and gunky, replace it with a fresh one. Put it back on. That looks pretty easy to do. It's super simple. But you will you will change your oil now, not not in the spring. Right, change right, right. Okay. So it's all properly lubed up when you start. And then a lot of people also don't know. You want to sharpen the blades. Really easy. Just get a blade sharpener, run it up and down each of the edges. Um, a clean cut on your lawn will keep it looking beauty, beautiful and healthy. Okay, good. Let's talk about uh, lawn and gardening tools now, because you forget about them, and then you come back in the spring, and they're all rusty. Um, stop rust by cleaning them off really well um, so you don't get the, the rust building up underneath debris. Sure. And then I like to use some mineral spirits and just wipe them down with that. It gives you an extra layer of protection, does better. And then store them in a bucket of sand with some mineral oil. So if they've got to be outside, that's a good way to do it. Um, or even in your garage. Even in the garage. Yeah, it'll okay. help prevent further oxidation. A bucket of sand. G garden hose, obviously, when we get into freezing weather, you don't want any water in this. So right, beyond right. draining it, what else did you know? Um, so stop watering your plants once it gets about 40 to 45 degrees or so, because that's when they stop growing. Mm -hmm. Drain all of the water out. You don't want it to freeze and then crack your hose open because it'll ruin it. All right. Outdoor furniture. This, this stuff can go bad in a hurry in a rough winter. It is, it is. Um, to, to protect it from the cycles of freezing and thawing, it's best to move it inside if possible. If not, cover it with a waterproof tarp. Should, um, you, should you do anything to the wood itself? Yep, if you want to, you can stain and seal this time of year. It's a great way to keep it looking new. Um, and then with your smaller pieces, tuck them underneath the bigger pieces so that if you get a windstorm or something, they don't end up Yeah, and I away. see you're using some bungee cords here to exactly. secure that just, because just you're right. Just make it all nice and tight. One good storm and it's all going through here. The barbecue. Wow. Hate to put this away. If you've got a great grill like this Weber one, you really want to make sure it's taken care of. Start by taking the gas tank out. Um, and putting the gas tank someplace inside so it doesn't get jostled around. Something yeah, because like yeah, obviously winter. you can't empty that out. You need to store it exactly. someplace safe. Sure. Yeah, so in a garage, in a shed, something like that. Um, then clean off your grates. Stiff brush, warm soapy water. Um, just get all of that, that gunk off. Um, clean out the inside as well, uh, the drip tray especially. And then you can protect the, the exterior by covering it with a grill cover. And then bungee the grill cover down to the bottom so that doesn't end up blowing away during any winter storms. Okay. All good advice then. We're gonna, you know, stick around if you want some barbecue, because we're gonna, we've got some barbecue plants coming up Excellent. here in just a moment. Justin, appreciate you being Thank here. Thank you, Lester. And we'll take a break. Be back with more today after this.